Hello, second graders. Today, we are going to start a new Lulu book. And this book is called Lulu's Mysterious Mission. This is a pretty cool book, I must say. We're going to go ahead and get started. Now, we're going to start with the preface. It's the very first thing before a chapter, kind of giving a little background or, I don't know, something from the author. Okay? Stop. Don't begin the first chapter just yet. There's something I need to tell you. And I think I'd better tell you right now. This isn't a book about Lulu's mysterious mission. It's actually a book about Lulu's babysitter. And that's what I wanted to call it, except two kids that I know, Benjamin and Nathaniel, kept telling me that Lulu's babysitter was a really boring title, which means that the name of the book has absolutely nothing to do with the whole story that I'm writing. You have been warned. Wait, now that I've warned you, I'm feeling a tiny bit guilty. Like maybe it isn't fair to trick readers like that. Like maybe there ought to be a law that what's inside a book has some to somehow match up with the name of the book. So maybe I'm not promising, but just maybe I'll put in some stuff about a mysterious mission. Meanwhile, either return this book or keep reading. You'll find out what happens when Lulu meets with Miss Sonia Sophia Solinsky, who is definitely not your Mary Poppins type babysitter. And you might find out about a mysterious mission. What do you think? Should we keep going or should we give up? Keep going? That's what I thought. Chapter one. But let's first go find Lulu who is in the living room screeching. No, no, no. Although she doesn't screech much anymore. However, the news she was hearing from her mom and her dad was so utterly shocking that it not only started her screeching, but almost shocked her into throwing one of her heel kicking, arm waving, on the floor tantrums. Lulu, however, thinks of herself as too grown up now to throw tantrums. Which also means she thinks of herself as a grown up enough to go with her mom and dad on a trip that they just told her that they would be taking without her. When Lulu had finished screeching, she fiercely glared at her mom and her dad and asked them, in a not too nice voice, these questions. How can you have a good time if I'm not there? And who's going to take care of me? And how can you be positive that this person won't kidnap me and hold me for ransom? Or maybe she'll stop feeding me and start yelling at me and hitting me and locking me down in the basement with the rats. Okay, that technically isn't a question. When Lulu was done, her mom and her dad looked at each other, then answered very carefully. For even though their daughter wasn't the serious pain in the butt that she used to be, she wasn't the easiest girl in the world to be parents to when she didn't get her way. First of all, said Lulu's dad, there are no rats in our basement. As a matter of fact, we don't even have a basement. But even if we did, said Lulu's mom, We'd never hire a sitter who would lock you up in it, or starve you, or hit you, or yell at you, or kidnap you. Or, added Lou's dad, hold you for ransom. And if you were held for ransom, Lulu's mom assured Lulu, patting her oh so lovingly on the cheek, we'd pay whatever it took to get you back. But, Lulu pointed out, removing her mom's padding hand from her cheek, if instead of paying ransom, you'd let me come with you, this trip of yours would cost a lot less money. Lulu's dad explained that as much as they love and adored their precious only child, they wanted to have, for the first time since they'd been parents, a private grown-up only vacation together. And that even though 
They wouldn't be having the kind of fun that they had with their fabulous Lulu. They would be having a different kind of fun. You mean a better fun? Grumped Lulu. You'll have a better fun without me. And you won't even care when I get sick and die. And that is the end of that chapter. Ooh, Lulu doesn't sound too happy, does she? What do you think is going to happen next? Make a prediction and I'll see you next time.